Elsewhere, Iraqi government forces have made major advances against ISI al Tekfidi terrorists in Tikrit. Army officials say as much as 75% of the city has been recaptured, including the city center and government headquarters. Iraqi forces were rejoined to end the battle by volunteer fighters. The offensive to retake the city began in uh, early March. ISI al Terra seized a strategically important city last summer. Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al Abadi had earlier said that Tikrit was liberated from ISI al occupation, but reports say fighting for parts of the city, the city rather, is still ongoing. Joining us now is our correspondent, Rashan Saglam, who's uh, joining us from the Iraqi city of Tikri to bring us up to speed on the recent uh, operations being carried out by the uh, Iraqi government forces uh, to liberate the city. Rashan. Yes, Bardia, I am uh, still in the center of Tikrit. Well, first of all, let me tell you that Haider al-Abadi himself was here in Tikrit, roaming the streets of Tikrit and making sure that everything everything is okay and that the city is uh, safe again uh, from ISIL militants. Uh, the uh, Prime Minister uh, earlier said that the liberation of Tikrit and Salah al-Din in general uh, was a joint effort of the Iraqi forces, uh, the volunteer forces and the tribesmen, uh, local tribes of uh, the Salah al-Din province. Uh, we tried to take an interview from Haider al-Abadi, however, he said he's not going to make any speech in front of the uh, press uh, right now. Uh, we were, uh, sup uh, he was supposed to make a presser earlier, but the presser was cancelled. Uh, now, I don't know if you can hear the gunshots. Uh, those gunshots are from joy uh, for the liberation of the Creed. Uh, we've been hearing them since the early morning. Uh, the Iraqi forces are really happy with the, this liberation, with this achievement. It is considered a great victory actually for the Iraqi forces and volunteer forces uh, you know we have been covering the stories uh, about uh, the liberation of Salah al-Din province and in particular Tikrit uh, from ISIL militants for the past three weeks and today is the day of the pay the, uh, paying off of this uh, coverage that we have been through uh, today the uh, Iraqi forces uh, uh, took uh, the fruit of what they have uh, uh, they have done uh, from efforts uh, to liberate uh, the land now of course to speak of, of the military operations that are still taking place in Tikrit uh, as you said 75% only uh, was liberated there is there are still 25% uh, of Tikrit not liberated under ISIL control not really control but there are clashes taking place over there. Uh, it is actually the northern side of Tikrit. It is the Qadisiyah area, which is a very hard and a strategic area for ISIL militant and hard uh, to, for clashes for the Iraqi forces. For uh, I, Explosive devices are set all over the place. Uh, we have been told by officials that the Qadisiya area, uh, you, can, uh, you can name it a nuclear bomb now, or a bomb, uh, uh, the, the whole neighborhood is uh, full with explosive devices that are set in the houses, on the roads, everywhere. So the Iraqi forces are being very keen to preserve the lives of the Iraqi forces, the volunteer forces, and not shed the lives of one, soldiers or, uh, one soldier or fighter. And also the presence of snipers of ISIL militants. Of course, uh, while we were here, we've seen a lot of ISIL uh, stuff or a lot of ISIL objects. Uh, we were able to see uh, some uh, chemical uh, uh, substances that were used in explosive devices of ISIL. Uh, we were uh, able to uh, see nitrate. We were able to see some chlorine that were used in explosive devices. We were also able to see uh, ISIL militants who were uh, killed by the clashes that took place yesterday. Uh, the, their blood was still fresh on the floor. We were able to see them and shoot them. Uh, of course, you are going to receive the footage as soon as we can. Uh, this is what we have seen in, uh, in Tikrit. Uh, some of the buildings are still untouched. This is very good news for the people of the city. And we have been told by some of the people, some of the locals who fought alongside the Iraqi forces and the volunteer forces, uh, that they try to preserve uh, the identity of the city, they try to preserve the houses in the city so that they can ease the return of the citizens as soon as possible, as also the governor of Tikrit uh, called the citizens to come back to the city as it became safe. And as you can see, I am not wearing a bulletproof vest, I am not wearing a helmet. Haider al-Abadi is walking without any uh, bulletproof vest. He is walking freely in the streets of Tikrit and uh, everything seems to be safe and peaceful here. Thank you very much. Rashan Saglam, our correspondent speaking to us from Tikrit.